I want to see the old pod detail like why the pod has been restarted. So let's go to the Kibana dashboard and first we have to find which namespace. So my namespace is dev. So you have to filter, apply the filter with namespace. So namespace name and select uh, one off and which namespace because my application has been restarted in this namespace dev. So we have to select the value dev and save it. Now you can see only dev namespace related pods will be visible here. So this is the new pod right? The 7Z5G4. 7Z5G4. So you are not aware about the old pod name because the pod name has the unique ID. So it's very hard to remember what are the uh, pod name uh, which one has been crashed. Okay. So now let's see we have to filter we have to find 7G5J4 7G5J4 so this one NGP4X NG yeah this one the affected pod because this pod is not available and in the logs you can see here destroying the pod handler okay so let's go more deeper so this is the first this is the first log the, this is the latest log right because on the top we don't we are not able to find this pod name NGP4X and in the real time there is no pods name are available because these two pods one is running and this have different id so it means this is the affected pod and why this pod has been rebooted uh, has been destroyed so we can see the logs so in the log they have said the destroy so let's see yeah here in the log you can see stopping so it means someone has stopped this pod like or someone has deleted this pod so you can find the detail with this logs stopping stopping protocol handler stop internal ping service catalina so let's also we have to filter only with this pod name okay so we found this pod is affected this pod has been crashed and this pod has been rebooted so we have to remove all the pod of this namespace we have to just filter with this pod name and this is the latest one and you can read each, each by each line and you can see stopping stopping protocol stop internal ping service catalina pause so it means someone has the re, uh, restart because they have pause and then they have to stop and then they have to destroy destroying the pod so in this way you can find like how to read the logs of the affected pod or how to reach the uh, destroyed pod or crashed pod so in this way you can store so start a post manager has finished so in this way you can do the troubleshooting you can uh, uh, find the root cause of the issue why this pod has been restarted why what is the issue to destroy this pod okay so in this way you can find and you can uh, fix the issue you can find the root cause because in the real time environment if this pod has been restarted you are not able to find the cause of the reason why this pod has been restarted so by using t by using this tool kibana or by using efk logging tool you can find the root cause of the issue why this pod has been rebooted and you can also check the logs of the reason of why this pod has been and uh, destroyed so let's see i have to also reboot ctl I have also destroy this pod, kubectl, delete pod, hyphen in prod. So now it's deleted, so a new pod will be generated. Hyphen in prod. So now you can see uh, this new pod has been generated, but you are not aware about this pod, like why this pod has been uh, destroyed. So let's find in our Kibana dashboard. So I told you first you have to filter with the namespace, kubectl, uh, namespace. namespace name because in the real time moment you have a lot of namespace there about 15 or 20 namespace so first you have to filter with the namespace name press enter and save it so now only uh, pod showing related to the this pod namespace and the next task is you have to find the pod name so 5qnsh so currently which uh, these two pods are running in this namespace and 5qnsh is uh, showing here visible here and 5qnsh 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 5q 5q yeah, this is a new pod. So C9MNX, C9MNX is not available. It means this is the affected pod. Okay, so I have rebooted this pod, right? You can see here, delete, uh, delete this pod. So I have rebooted this pod, and it means this is the defected pod. This is the crashed pod. Okay, so in this way you can find, and then you have to plus sign, and you can also see the other pod also, GWS29, GWS29. So these two pods are available, right? So it means this pod was the last rebooted, C9MNX, and also we can reboot this pod. So you have to select and filter. Now you can see here the logs. So the same destroying, destroying, stop. Like it means someone has stopped this pod. Protocol. 
so this is a very important tool the cfk is a logging tool which generally we use in the production environment to debug the issue debug and root cause of the issue of the pod and we can help for the troubleshooting because if you haven't set up the efk log you are not able to find the root cause of the issue if sometimes the application has been rebooted multiple times so you are not able because if pod is rebooted then all the logs also has been destroyed okay so you can't able to see the logs suppose this one the defected pod if you want to see the logs so kubectl logs icon and prod so you can't able to find the log because this application is not exist okay so that's why we we need the logging tool to check the logs of the deleted pod or destroyed